Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky. Check it in today's video. We have a great new update to many Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and see exactly what is going on here. By the way, you may have noticed that I just had a great transition from my lock screen to my home screen. So let me show that to you. That's to the lock screen and that is into the home screen. And of course, the new update pertains to this feature. So as you may or may not know, this feature is part of the GoodLock application, which is gonna be right over here. And you do have to go to the Wonderland module to actually create and utilize this amazing feature. Well, now the Wonderland module has gotten a brand new update. So let's see exactly what's going on here. So again, if you have good luck, just go to good luck. If you don't have good luck, just go to the store, okay, right here and search for good luck. Once you find it, go inside and basically install and open it. And then it's gonna say update next to Wonderland. You can tap on more and you can go to the store to see the specific Wonderland update. And you can see we have version 1.5.16 and we have a whole bunch of fixes and updates. And if I scroll down right here, you can see this was a June 28 update. It is 87 megabytes, which is quite large for this module. So let me tap on update. We're gonna see the latest version. I'm also gonna show you guys how to create that powerful transition effect you saw in the beginning. Now, before we dive in, here's some fantastic news. On July the 10th, Samsung will release powerful new products, including the Watch 7 Ultra, the new Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, and the Fold 6. So for that, Samsung is currently giving away $50 in Samsung credit and a chance to win a mind-blowing $5,000. And all you have to do is give your name, and email. All this is going to be free and this is a no commitment offer so there's no obligation to buy anything. So click the link down below to reveal this mind-blowing offer and enter for a chance to win $5,000. Here's all you have to do. So once you click the link you're going to be at this website and all you want to do is you want to scroll down Put your first name, put your last name, and put your email. And then you can click reserve now, but be very careful. If you want to enter the $5,000 giveaway, you also want to check this box right here and answer these two questions. Once you answer those questions, you can tap on reserve now, and you are good to go. Let's move on. All right, the update is now installing, and it's complete. There we go. So we're going to open Wonderland. You do have two modules. I'm gonna look at the lock screen effect module real quick. First, I'm gonna show you guys how to create that effect I just showed you, because I know some people are wondering. And then we'll look at all the updates. So to create your own unique wallpaper that transitions from the lock screen to the home screen, you tap on plus right here, and then you tap on this gallery icon, and then you pick a wallpaper for the lock screen, and for AOD. So, so first I'm gonna pick the lock screen wallpaper. I'm gonna tap on the gallery icon. AOD, by the way, means always on display. So I'm gonna tap on that. And I just went into a specific album. So I'm gonna pick this one right here as my wallpaper. Okay, so that's gonna be my lock screen wallpaper. And then I'm gonna pick my AOD wallpaper. So I'm gonna tap on that. And I'm gonna pick this one right here. Okay, so I have two of these guys right now. By the way, I can edit them each individually. I'm gonna show you that to you in a second. So I'm gonna tap on close. So now we have the whole thing set up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on this over here. I'm gonna choose an effect. And just to show you guys the effect I was using in the beginning of the video is the fluid effect, which is this one right here, okay? And then you can have slide effect, you can have slice effect. All these are existing features, which is great. But of course the update improves everything that's happening here. So I'm gonna tap on, I'm gonna tap fluid, I'm gonna tap on close. Now the other thing I'm gonna show you guys is you can actually move the papers and align them the way you want it, okay? So I can tap on screen off and then I can match that to the other one. So you can see the transition is almost perfect. And then you tap on this and you save it, okay? You save that wallpaper, then you set the wallpaper, okay? So it's getting ready, it's now set, and it gets saved right here, okay? So now I have that effect. So that's how you create these effects, which is fantastic. And of course, Wonderland can do so much more. But let's go in here and look at exactly what is new and improved 
in relation to these features. So if I go into my What's New section, it says fixed an issue where the wallpaper gets initialized during operation on some devices. So that's a bug and that has been resolved if you were having this problem with the wallpaper situation. The other thing is fixed an issue where some settings are missing during backup and restore through smart switch. So when you transfer all your information from one phone to another Samsung Galaxy phone using smart switch, some of the Wonderland settings do not transfer, did not transfer properly, now they do. So you can export all the settings from your Wonderland application to other Samsung phones via smart switch with maximum integrity. So that's that. And then we have fixed an issue where wallpaper is displayed incorrectly or particles do not operate in certain situations. So again, if I tap on open, uh, if I go into creating your own moving wallpaper, as an example, here's one moving wallpaper, okay? So basically there's a lot of particles here you can add on top. If you tap on edit, you can add a lot of particles. All these, if I tap over here for example, you can see there's a person right here. I can exit out and that person will disappear. So you're adding your own particles and creating your own wallpaper. And what happened was some of these particles were not behaving properly. So now that has been fixed as well. So you're not going to see any weird particle movements. And then of course we have fixed an issue where dark mode is not supported in some UIs, which is great because you want the dark mode to be working at all times, even when you are using Wonderland. And then finally, we have improved usability of some of the UI elements. Okay. And that's just the overall operation uh, of the Wonderland module, which is this one right here. By the way, when I use Wonderland module, I mostly go over here to the lock screen effects, okay, because that's the one I like. But a lot of people also create their own wallpapers. You can play with that as well. Very easy. If you want to learn more, drop a comment down below. I'll make a detailed video about how to get that done as well. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. And for now, have a fantastic day.